episode 73 on BU Squalor, and we're in a battle with the Houston Texans, which um, we're at halftime. They have some star factors. Nope, they don't have DeAndre Hopkins. They don't have Javon County, and I don't know who that is, but uh, yeah, he has a Seahawks jersey on. That's kind of funny, actually. It was not a Seahawk when I started this series way back when. Let's do injuries. The medical center. Malik Stills out for the season. Keep saying that. Johnny Lynn. I lost my starting wide receiver. But they're, uh... They lost Zach Cunningham. Got some pretty bad injuries here for them too. So uh, let's look at their depth chart. Starting with Roy Pollock, their quarterback, 25 year old, 80 overall. Marlon Mack would be their starting, but nope, they got Antoine Chester. Fullback here. DeAndre Hopkins, 32 years old, still with the Texans. <laughs> Bill O'Brien. <laughs> Will Fuller, the five. Kenny Murphy. Tyler Eifert is a Texan. Garrett Bowles. Nate Davis. J.C. Treader. I I'm surprised to see him. Um, Did he go to the Browns? Or he came from the Browns? I don't remember. Jamon Brown. Another surprise. Tyus Howard. Jordan Willis. DJ Reader. Javon Hardgrove. Tim Jernikin still getting it done. Antoine Bell. Ooh, Zach's the one that's out, so they're going to be using Bedardrick McKinney. Nothing wrong with that. Anthony Nelson. Anthony Brown. Okay, I don't know who that is. Jonathan Jones. I know who that is. Justin Reed. One of my favorite backup safeties of all time. Ellis Michaels. I was thinking earlier today that, uh, I should have fired Matt LaFleur instead of just changing his game plans because that's kind of cheap. You know, have a coach that just changes his game plans. But change his defensive coordinator, get the new defensive coordinator. Yeah. New offensive coordinator. Yeah, I guess that works. Anyways, we're going normal. Um, their touchdown was a defensive touchdown. And we haven't got much done. So, this season's been a long season. Long season because it's an hour long per episode or per game. So, that takes a bit of a time. And, uh, is that a first down? Nope. It's so brutal. See you guys at the end of the game. We won. We won. I can't believe we won. He can't believe it either. They're shocked. Is that Bill O'Brien? I don't know how you can tell. Can't. It probably is Bill O'Brien, but uh, ooh, that looked bad. He scored 15 points. He scored 10. Tied the game and then went down, got a touchdown with like 13 seconds left and won the game. And look at that quarterback rating. Should have dominated this game, but we didn't. CJ Shad, hey, look at that. Four yards carry. That's uh that's beautiful. Struggling in the wide receiver department, but Got some yards. 
and oh, um, Preston Larson threw for 10,000 yards in this in his career now. I got that notice. Fletcher Cox, two sacks. Arthur Steed's kind of having a down year, but three interceptions. That's beautiful. Let's look at uh, team stats. See how that looks right now. Big upgrade! I love seeing those numbers just fly up there. He is not a power back. He's receiving back. Just keep doing that. Call it catching point. Todd Fine. Oh, look at that big upgrade, huh? Media question. Let's get to the playoffs. We need $36 million before the end of the year because we have no money. Okay. Only quarterback to take snaps. 70% completion passing. 90.7. 13 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. 28 sacks on the season. Alright, rushing wise, Malik Stills, who hasn't been in the game, <laughs> he played three games and he is our leading rusher. We've gone quite through quite a few. Receiving, our tight end is our leading receiver. So you see, we have some problems. We have a running back, but he's missed everything. Jeffrey McKinley is leading it. Sacks. Arthur Steed still has nine. So even though he's having a down year, still has nine sacks, eight and a half for him. Kenny Clark made us a lot. So it's a pretty good 4 3 defense. Kicking. Average. Our kick returners, Todd, he only has three. Punt returning. Todd's been punt returning now, too. Oh, let's check uh, if they got some. Is it just. Oh, yearly awards. Ezekiel Elliott, MVP. Kyler Murray. Coach of the Year. Vic Fangio, Doug Marone, Mike Zimmer is a Bengals coach, huh? Sean McDermott, Adam Gase, Kyle Shanahan. That's so funny. All right, NFC Offensive Player. Oops. Defensive Player: Arthur Steed, Jeff McKinley, and Fletcher Cox, and. Jared Alexander and Josh Jackson because you know reasons hey look at that I'm fourth on the list played in five games but I'm fourth and the Lions have two players oh look at that Floyd Bentley our fullback let's hope he wins it that's the only one that I really Sixth. Definitely not on the list. Definitely not on that. Oh, you want to see something funny? Ha <laughs> ha, Stefan Diggs on the Vikings. That would be amazing. He'd be first time he wins. He retired, and he's not a cowboy anymore. Arthur Steed, Fletcher Cox. I'm Gary. Have a good chance of uh, winning that one, huh? 
Jeff McKinley, Cleo Mack. Ooh. Jared Alexander must be having a pretty good game. George Barber just picked him up. Marcus Peters. Not on. Oh, there we are. Josh Lake. Love that. We are not going to be able to get much farther this week. So I'm a uh, scout and jump ahead next week. We're picking ninth. I think I got all the wide receivers. Oh, I need to definitely scout the wide receivers because we're so desperate. We're a playmaking wide receiver. Next week. The episode is the 70, 73. I need to caught up again. Johnny Lynn's been cleared, but uh, would never play through injury. We're playing the Vikings, and we are now in second place in the division. That's cool. We're $38 million in the hole. So that's the strong safety that we signed. That's brutal. I didn't really account for that. And we got to do this, and I'm not sure about that yet. But this is a definite before the end years end out. And. Jamal Williams is just not probably really hurt my running game having him be the lead fullback because he's not a good lead fullback. He's a good running full fullback, but not a good lead fullback. So uh continue to scout wide receivers. And some of those late round gems. And, uh, get some training done. I've seen they can auto train now as a setting. I think we'll do that next time because make it more even. No upgrade, player upgrades. Um, we got some blue chips. Left, right. Bentley, he's halfway there. Like stills, 200. Yeah, that was it. Probably could look at right outside linebacker. Corner, maybe draft a corner. This is pretty strong here. I don't see any problems there. I think we're losing a couple of these guys too. I think we're gonna be a little thin on right outside linebacker. We definitely need to sign him because we paid a lot for him. Just look at that team negotiations. Yes and yes, if I can, if I can afford it. We're gonna lose two tight ends, but we got some backup tight ends, so it's not gonna be that bad of a drop off. Backup left tackle, not a problem. Backup quarterback. Um, switching to zone, thought he'd be a good fill in, but no. Oh, just one. So yeah, okay. All right, guys. I'm going to take a little break here and uh, play the Viking games tomorrow. 
You guys remember when we went like 2 and 14 and we swept the Vikings? Well, we beat them again! Ha! Ah! And it was a glorious game. Look at that. I mean, we just got 14 at the end there, but it was pretty awesome. Player stats show that Mr. Larson had a good game. They're, uh, this is the Miami number one pick overall a couple of years ago. And for some reason, Zar Franklin has an attempt. That's weird. That is really weird. Rushing. Four yards to carry. Kiki Kote. Yeah, 47 yard run. Wow. Wow. A big run too. No? 29 yarder, but nice. AJ Brown. Oh, Dan Arnold's hurt. How was that defense? A lot of interceptions. Two Bryce and Jeff McKinley. Like to see that. Fletcher Cox and Arthur Steed. Like to see that. That's pretty cool. Um so yeah, I think we're slowly climbing up. We should be one behind the Bears now. That's an interesting picture of Christian McCaffrey. Looks so human. Not all jacked up. Ha, uh, finally. Point in zone. Two zone points. Tony Lynn. That good route running up. Got ability slot. Run sharper route catch. Oh, that's nice because that's what he's going with too. He's going with the route runner. Kind of speed you got? Ninety speed. Deep threat going on, maybe to get some more speed. Oh, oh yeah, it shows it now. Nice. But oh, we have two new injuries. Johnny Lynn and Barkley. CJ. Todd has an eight week injury. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. I think we just keep going the way we're going. We're going to be thin on wide receivers now. So we just lost two of them. Thomas is going to get some time as the fourth. And then they'll throw in a tight end. Should be fine. Should be fine. Shizu Todd was doing pretty good. Man, they just can't stay healthy. It's the average that I want to look at. Still leading the lead. <laughs> yeah. Promising, but unfortunately his whole season was ruined. Alright, going to next week. Next week. I'm going to look up, uh, do some player history for a little bit. Yeah, we're one behind the Bears. Oh, that's good, huh?
Who gets an upgrade? Ooh. Our zone safety. We have to sign. This is the corner we picked up. Those zone points were pretty awesome, huh? We can do the whole roster by zone. Impact blocking. The punter. He's so bad. Wow. <laughs> That's funny, Fletcher Cox. Got the best impact. Zone coverage. David Bakhtiari would be the worst. Kiki Kote. <laughs> so funny. Anyways. Jerry Alexander. Best zone corner we got. Yep, need to work on that, huh? He's just gonna get better. Cause he's still really young. Twenty three years old. What do you get for his Yeah. That's kind of not a great See who's got the best. Kiki Kote's got some pass blocking skills, huh? She should be run blocking. David Bakhtiari. I don't really consider the best run blocker either. Some pretty decent run blocking skills. Run blocking finesse. Look at that. Preston Larson. Got himself a player of the week. That's pretty cool. Well, since I traded for him, I should probably keep him. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. 3.2. 2. 2.75. Over five years. Bam, this is done. Yep, George Barber. Free safety of the future. Strong safety. All right, guys, we're going to end up still by looking at th this game that uh, when we we're doing the slow sim, we we're up 19 to 10 and then up going into the fourth quarter and then it just fell apart for the Packers. Uh, we have more offense. They have more rushing yards. We have more passing yards, more first downs, we got a punt return, kick returns. It means that they had no punt returns yards, which means that they didn't, well, they could have. Total yards to them. Both had turnover, two turnovers. Uh, red zone proficiency, four for four. Always scored points in the red zone. Two and three and one versus two and two. Penalties one for five. We had a slight. Um, oops. Going to uh, the defensive side of the ball. Josh Anglo, the he was the uh, defensive tackle I drafted. And let me just take a look. I 
can find it. Twenty-three. Yeah, he was our first round pick in twenty-three. Uh, Seventy over overall. We picked twenty-ninth that year. We went from the NFC Championship game to picking second, just like the 49ers did. And so Fletcher Cox had a sack, but that was it for that. And uh, two interceptions, Josh Jackson still getting it done, and Darnell Savage getting it done. Um, I did go intentionally backwards. Kiki Kote had a great day. One drop, but um, 124 yards. So he's definitely taken off as our... Solid number one, uh, our tight end, you know, rushing wise, Jamal Williams was our leading rusher and fullback and 4.4 4 yards a carry. Maybe he would have been a better, I think this makes me nervous. He's hurt. Oh boy. That's why we lost the game. Lost the game because he got hurt and Caleb Brown went in and he's not good. But, hey, Josh Anglo. Get a power rushing point going. 73 overall now. Nice. One strength point. Love strength points, right? 90 strength now. And um, one new injury to report. Shoulder tear four weeks. Oh boy. Tiny Lynn will be back. Got a lot of people on injury. So what, is, what week is this? I don't think Malik Stills is going to play. See you next week for the Bears.